Despite numerous ecological benefits that wetlands provide, it is estimated that globally, 64% of them have been destroyed in the last 100 years. Brackish bays, lagoons, lakes, marshes, ponds, accumulations, are island wetland habitats, rich oasis of biodiversity and islands within islands. Water birds, pond turtles, frogs and dragonflies are only a fraction of all the species which live there. They are not only hotspots for characteristic freshwater species, but also an important source of fresh water for domestic animals. For thousands of years, wetlands were the only source of fresh water on islands, and therefore crucial for the survival of the population. As people migrated and oriented more towards tourism, traditional agriculture and herding were no longer the primary source of income, and wetlands were forgotten. They are often covered in garbage, regulated, and drained. Their importance was recognized as environmental awareness developed at the end of the last century. Although Mediterranean countries have endeavored to make an inventory of wetlands and assess their status over the past 30 years, there is still not enough information on them. To contribute to their conservation, wetlands on islands in the Adriatic larger than tenth of an acre were mapped, all within the Med is Wet project. A total of 2,739 wetlands of various sizes were mapped on 71 islands. Only 148 were larger than tenth of an acre. Because the climate crisis and droughts with extreme temperatures have become more and more frequent, local communities have recognized the potential of this ecosystem. Maintained ponds, either natural or artificial, are still crucial for field irrigation, just as they were in the past. Although seemingly located in the middle of nowhere, the location of wetlands reveal their past and present purpose. Throughout history, traditional herding relied on nature and rare sources of fresh water. Ponds located in karst areas on islands in the Adriatic served as resting and watering stations for cattle. Field research has shown that some wetlands are not in such good condition, despite good examples. Brackish bays lose connectivity with rainwater from the mainland due to increasing devastation of the coast, while some wetlands disappear due to lack of maintenance and overgrowing. If the intentional or unintentional destruction of wetlands continues, their rich biodiversity could be lost. Their importance has been internationally recognized by the Ramsar Convention, but at a national level, wetlands are still not recognized as an important factor for the conservation of biodiversity and mitigating the climate crisis on the islands. Their potential remains still largely ignored and unused. Agriculture and herding are not the only sectors which can greatly benefit from island wetlands. Given the increased pressure of tourism on the coast, developing tourism inland is one of the potentials offered by wetlands. Development of gastronomic and cultural routes like cheese and wine are just a small part of their potential. Development of educational activities is also crucial for the conservation of island wetlands. Bird watching, educational trails, and schools in nature are some of the activities which contribute to raising awareness among island visitors and nature lovers. The quality of people's lives is directly linked to the state of the environment and nature. Therefore, it is time to bring nature back to our lives. Wetlands can play a crucial role in the survival of life on islands, which is why we must appreciate and preserve them for future generations. <laughs>